Hello folks, so I've been wanting to do this video for a while now. This is uh, a video uh, talking about all our new stuff that's coming next year. It's a 2025 line and um, what the line will look like going on uh, further on into the future. And uh, Talking about uh, the, the stuff I currently got, what I won't be bringing back. Um, I've decided, I've been working on this line now for almost a year. I started it uh, in uh, autumn, the fall of last year and I wanted to work on two different types of lines. One would be a class, the, the classic line but based on traditional uh, traditional look and more like a lifelike line so it would be more realistic to the animal, it would have less facial expressions uh, and, and, and standard colours where I would create a new line which would be the baby line which would be bright colours, big expressions on their face and that would be called the the baby cubbies line. The baby cubbies was actually the original name for cubbies when I first started. So it'd be two lines: a baby cubbies and traditional classic, and the signature line and the baby century line. I would end up phasing out. I might keep a few of them because they're still good sellers, but uh, they would ultimately be phased out. And uh, quite a lot of the existing classic line would be. Uh, probably merged into the baby line actually and, and some of them will be phased uh, phased out so f fewer SKUs but I've got lots of new ones to show you um, and I'm very excited so let's get started so first one to show you is a blue dinosaur so you, this is for the baby cubbies line and you can see this is the type of, of, uh, of um, uh, look I'm aiming for for the baby line so it's bright colors uh, very soft. Um, all of the teddies I'm making now will all be uh, fluffy and furry. There'll be none of the, the the old designs that weren't so fluffy. So, for example, uh, the, the the classic unicorns, the horse, uh, the old uh, the, the well the giraffe. Um, they were all they didn't really they weren't furry. They weren't plushy, uh, and these all will be. Obviously, you've got a, a, a smooth belly and uh, they've got colourful spikes on the back with a tail so that is a blue dinosaur next I mentioned the giraffe this is a giraffe but I wanted it to be really fluffy really nice soft fabric and here she is the giraffe this very nice longer neck really soft nice big ears big smile very sweet so sweet is really what I'm aiming for and we've got this one, this is a nice pastel mint colour, really nice fluffy fabric. It's an alligator. Uh, I think this would be big in the US with the good old alligator mascots. And again, similar to the dinosaur, prehistoric. It's got, uh, you see the, the spikes on the back. So that's, a, again, a very nice um, design. And this is a, a very colourful one. Someone sent me a picture of, of of a bird like this um, it was really nice and it was pink and peach and lots of lovely colors and I thought you know I'll make a cubby out of this and here we have a cockatoo bird so really nice soft colors incredibly um, soft and fluffy and pink and little girls uh, I think it'd be lovely for a little uh, newborn baby girl what do you think cockatoo and then we've got uh, for the North America, for the Cana uh, Canadians and Americans, we've got a raccoon. It's the first time I've made this animal. And you see a big smile, nice and soft and fluffy again. Raccoon. And then finally, for the baby cubbies line, we have, you see what it is yet? A lion. And this is really thick and fluffy. When you feel it, you'll go, oh, that is nice. So it's really thick on the body, obviously smooth on the front. Uh, and you can see, you know, the cutie look. That is what I'm aiming for for the baby cubbies line. So for the uh, next line, the classics. Let's get started with that. So we've got uh, the gr a grizzly bear. So you can see the difference between uh, this bear and the current bear that will be part of the baby cubbies line. So this is less expression on the face, uh, darker, more realistic colours, but it's really soft. This is a really thick fabric. Uh, and when you see it and feel it, you know, people will, you know, anyone who gets this will love it because it's really soft, even though it's not as bright and, uh, and and funky as the Baby Cubbies line. Sticking with bears, we've got a polar bear, similar to uh, the brown bear, you know, really soft and fluffy. Um, and uh, yeah, pretty, pretty simple, really. 
Uh, what have we got here? We've got a beagle dog. I've been asking, for, I always get asked for dogs, 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 dogs. So I found a dog design that I really liked. It was only small. I thought, can I take the features of that and turn it into a cubby? So here we have, and it's very nice, very pretty. It's actually my daughter's favorite. She keeps asking for this, and I don't know if I have a spare one. I hope I do so I can give it a, but she keeps asking for it. Moving on, I've been working on this one. This is one of my favorites, um, a red panda. And uh, yeah, I've been wanting to do a red panda for a while, but it's not so easy to get the the um, the features on the face because it's got like these, it's got white coming out from the cheeks, got white coming out from the eyes, and here he is. I think he'll do really well. Nice big tail. Look at that. I think he'll do really really well. So a uh, red panda of the classic line. And we've got a moose. Still working on that, um, but it might make the head just a little smaller, but. Uh, um, classic moose again fluffy the existing moose wasn't fluffy this they've all got to be fluffy and here we have a, a new I was looking at it I was like somebody said is it a wolf I'm like oh it might be but actually it's originally supposed to be a husky because of the blue eyes well huskies and wolves are very similar but this is really well made um, it looks exactly really looks exactly like a husky I think exact same uh, shape of the face the colors um, the current husky I got, I don't really, don't really like because it's, it's got a lot of expression on the face. But actually, it looks better when there's no expression. Look at that! It's just, I just think it looks better. Um, and yes, yeah, so that's a husky. And we've got two more. Uh, these, are, these, any more? Just two. I think these going to. I think these are going to do really well. These are part of the dog line, and we've got a. a um, this is what's this? A labradoodle? Labradoodle? Blonde labradoodle? Um, the eyes are somewhere there. The head. I'm just. Gonna, this one hasn't been finalised yet. I'm just going to make the head a little smaller. But uh, yeah, blonde labradoodle dog. Someone asked for this, and uh, I thought, yeah, go on then. And uh, hasn't been easy finding the fabric that's curly and soft. But here we have. And then finally, my favourite, last but not least, this is um, my my sister has a dog which is. Um, a Labradoodle and a, a cross between a Labradoodle and a Cocker Spaniel, and so I went and worked. I went and looked at some designs, and I thought, oh, that'd be nice if it looked like that. So here we have. A, is it a cockapoo? Is that what it's called? A lab, Labradoodle and a cock. So you've got a cockatoo and a cockapoo. That's it. So that is a, a brilliant design, part of the classic line. I think it'll do really well. Dogs do well, but this will be really good. So. Um, these will be coming um, in two phases. So the first batch in the US will come probably mid-September. So we're only about five, five or six weeks away before we uh, get these in the US. They'll be coming later on in Europe, um, and uh, so two batches. So end of end of this year and the start of next year, we'll have a whole new line. And um, and yeah, a lot of the. A lot of the stuff on sale right now won't be coming back. Even though it's on sale and discontinued, I still have a lot of stock on, on some items and, and more stock in in the factory. So it could run out, but I could still bring another you know, 500 in that I've got reserved. So it's going to be about a year before uh, the signature items and the baby sensory items and a lot of the uh, um, classic items on sale end up getting sold out. So don't be worried because it's discontinued that we're going to be out of it. Um, no, it's, we've still got plenty of stock. But a lot of the uh, items uh, on the classics uh, will be phased out in, in favour for the new classic line. Um, I'll be releasing a catalogue uh, probably in November uh, of, of what the 2025 uh, line and what the future line will look like. You've seen all the new ones. Um, any questions about what else has been discontinued? Well, Good sellers like uh, the the new monkey I made that'll be part of the baby line. Um, the the lamb that's the fluffy lamb stays. The bears stay that'll be part of the baby cubby's line. Um, uh, what else? Uh, the sloth will stay. Um, I'm sure there's plenty of I'm sure there's plenty of us. Just don't know off the top of my head. Um, gray bear, blue bear, pink bear. They're all part of the, they're all part of the baby cubby's line. So yeah, so I hope you like them. I, I've worked a long time on them, and I think they look really good. I'm happy where it's going. Um, 
and just an update we uh, for those who don't know we uh, we opened up in Canada last week so um, yeah so now we're back in four locations as well as a distributor in Australia and the Christmas items will um, be released for sale uh, this Friday so uh, check if you're looking for Christmas stock a Christmas related theme not just the teddies but also bags and stockings that'll be on sale on Friday so yeah any comments please let me know let me know your favorite or you know, your favorite two or three I'd be interested to know just to make sure I'm on the right lines of, uh, of what everyone thinks and so uh, yeah onwards and upwards